everybody on the internet, welcome back to another Guilds of Ravnica draft that fired immediately. Uh, Lava Coil is great, so is Integrity Intervention. Oh, Swamp Dog, it's your boy. Oh, then I can't. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, such such emotional, what an emotional roller coaster. I'm going to take this Legion War Boss, I think. I will also take Luminous Bonds when it comes back. Oh my god, Swamp Dog again. Oh god. I have to make sure, I'm just going to... I'm going to go over here and I'm going to reserve this guy. So that whatever is happening over here with you boy, with you boy Swamp Dog. God, Swamp Dog has like a million cards. Didn't want to... <laughs> 40 tickets. Get out of here, man. Dude, you are the best. Consistently the best. Consistently. My dude. Oh, 40 ish. All right, I just took the 40 then. We are good. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. And as you guys know, I actually uh, have no way to spend any sort of tickets outside of Magic Online. So, like, if you guys donate anything, or if you guys donate tickets or packs or whatever, they get used on stream. So, you guys will bear witness to their uh, to their use. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. As always, you are a real solid supporter. Now, I don't know what to take, though. I don't want to be is it with this guy, but there's no good Boros cards in this pack. We just take Ornery Goblin. I just had the draft I donated did poorly. Yeah, it's not your fault. I messed up. And then we got mana screwed, so. Literally everything that can go wrong in Magic went wrong. Yeah, I don't like this follow up. There's no Rakdos and there's no Gruul, so I don't want to take either of these. Uh, Sinister Sabotage is just good. This guy's also fine. So is Ornery Goblin. Ornery Goblin's actually real strong if they can mentor onto him. This leaves us open for, Bo for Boros, though. If we end up not playing the red. I guess it's just this, and it doesn't feel good at all. Ugh. I'd rather stick with, um, with red than go into a blue card here, even if our red cards are not ideal. Because I will likely always play this guy in a red deck. I really don't want to be Izzet, but you're only showing me Izzet stuff. It's really discouraging. Maybe we just take Golgari Fine Broker. I think it's definitely the strongest card in this pack. I don't think Blade Instructor is stronger. Frank what? I don't know what that means. What are you saying right now? What's wrong with Warboss and Izzet? Nothing. I just don't want to do Izzet again. Also, I don't. I just don't. I think it's probably better than the Boros deck, where you can. <sighs> I don't think that's true. Venom is one of my favorite Marvel characters, and Spider-Man is one of my favorite comic characters. Tom Hanks knocked both his roles out of the park. I just feel the movie was poorly made, but I still enjoyed it. Just because he knocks the role out of the park, though, I don't think that means that it's a good. It's not a Venom story. You can replace the Venom character in that movie, and just call the movie Black Alien Suit, and it still makes sense as a movie. I would imagine. This is a late Lava Coil. I'll take the Lava Coil. Like, that's my problem. Like, it's not Venom. It's not a Venom movie, right? Uh, I like Scout and I like both of these one drops because we have Legion Boss as a three mana... A three mana mentor, mentorer. Scott and Scott has float though. I like the hawk. Just having a two two hawk is yeah. We're just taking the hawk. I don't like one drops. Venom movie was awesome. The action was great. The CGI was great. The storyline was okay, but it was great. Uh, yeah, but like, I don't know, man. I don't think so. I mean, movie having good action and good CGI does not make a good movie. Like, that's just... My, my, my barometer for a good movie is much higher than that. Hunted Witness. We're just really kind of forcing... Bor I thought this was uncommon. I guess it's I guess it's common. Maybe I'm thinking something else, but... Uh, yeah, this card's whatever. Oh, this card's actually good for the Mentor decks. I get it. I get it. I 
I think it. I think a lot of it comes down to whether an audience, like I think, like as opposed to like who liked it and who didn't, it comes down to whether you like. You think a big dumb action movie with a bunch of good looking like CGI is good enough for you, or if you actually like want a good story arc, good character development, uh, believable characters, things like that. Like if you're if that's important to you, I don't think Venom's gonna really deliver. That's my opinion. I haven't seen it. That's why I said I don't think it's going to. However, if you just want to go in there and watch some big dumb aliens fighting and like see some cool action scenes, you'll probably be satisfied, I think. But I mean, I think it just comes down to like where you value movies on your like what you what you what you value from movies. And like as someone who appreciates um Matthew Orris, dude, no spoilers, buddy. Okay, well, we haven't seen it, so <laughs> please don't spoil it. Oh boy. That was a late dead weight. Um You describe Venom like it's a Transformers movie. Do you really think it's... Yeah, that's actually literally what I was comparing it to, actually. That's kind of funny. Uh, do I really think it's... I mean, I ha like I said, I haven't seen it, but I don't have any impression that I'm going to go in there and get, like, some really deep storyline. Like, not one review, not one critical review of the movie. Not, like, saying, hey, man, I went in there looking for an action movie. I went in, it was kind of fun. I had a good time. Like, I'll buy that. But not one critical review around the storyline gives me the impression that... Wow, another Marco movie. Okay. We've opened six packs today. Two of them had narco amoebas. That's cool. <laughs> That's good stuff. Um, not not one not one of those reviews has led me to believe that I'm going to go in there and get a really really well told in depth storyline. Oh, watery grave. What does that go for? One fifty. Might just be righteous blow. I guess this guy's fine. We only have one mentor creature though, which is I really don't want two tenth district guides. I guess it's just three three for five for four. Oh, that's a good that's a good pickup. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Another dead weight. Yeah, this is good. That's where you want to... Oh, wow. That's our late Rock Charger. And a Luminous Bonds and a Sky Knight Legionnaire. I think it's Rock Charger because giving your big five, four, four and five power guys flying is really fine. Like, I keep seeing the part... <laughs> oh, God. Um, I keep seeing the part where like the guy in the streets like, "Who are you?" And then like the 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 suit kind of like is is like covering his face, and he's like, "We are Venom." And I'm like, "Really? That's what you'd say in that moment?" Eh, okay, that's a that's a weird thing to say right then. But also, why are you Venom? Why are you called that in the movie? What's your what what makes your name Venom in the movie? Why are you called that? I don't know. Maybe that's in the movie. If that's explained, let me know that it's explained, but don't explain it to me because I don't want any spoilers. But And it's just, it doesn't even, I don't know. It doesn't look, the suit doesn't look that great to me. I don't know. I almost think it looks better in Spider-Man 3. Yes, the Spider-Man 3 Venom, I think, actually looked fine. I'm looking it up right now just to make sure I'm not completely wrong. They don't, they don't actually explain the name. It's just like, it's just there. It's just like, oh, he's just Venom. But why? What makes your name that? Smoke Doke, have a good night, buddy. <laughs> why is Venom? Uh, I do like a 
patrol here. I don't think it's either of these. Yeah, our deck is coming together. I like this. This pack was much better for us. If you go into a theater looking to see explosions and cool action, but not care so much about the, how the character is handled as far as accuracy, then you should be fine. That's exactly what I said. Yeah, 100% agree with that. Because we can do whatever we want. That's fantastic. That's a good reason. That's a good reason to name him that. All right. I'm uh, obviously thinking this. I'm going to hold on this so I can catch up with this chat a little bit. So much of Venom's character relies on Spider-Man and Pure That's it. That's it. Oh, God. That's it right there. I've gone over this like four times. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, uh, I do apologize if you've heard my Venom rant before. But so much of the Venom character is reliant on Peter Parker. His disdain, like his anger, is because he was mad at Peter Parker. Eddie Brock, the reason... Uh, the two feed off each other. Eddie Brock and the symbiote feed off of each other based on their mutual distaste of Peter Parker. So much of that character is reliant on Peter Parker. And it makes me so mad that they just left all of that out. Yes, I read Maximum Carnage back in the 90s. It's not a suit. It's a symbiote. Yeah, all right. You got it. You got it. Oh, man. Random thought. If there's something in the card where it's one and there's nothing really good, you should take it. If you go 2-1, you can get enough takes for another draft. Yeah, that's... I mean, I'm I'm no stranger to rare drafting, buddy. Uh, I guess I'll just take the dead weight. I'm not going to play Candlelight Vigil. Maybe we can splash this off a of green. It's good enough to do so. Same thing with this. My God, these red, these green cards are just OP. Not OP, but ever present. I guess I'll say. <laughs> now we are. Well, you said Weenum, but that's a little different. Uh, I also like Parkley on Patrol, but I think it's actually not as great because it's 4-drop, and it can only mentor onto one power, guys. Pumping it's great, but... They should do a storyline where the Hulk wears the Venom symbiote. Well, you know, the problem with doing that is that you don't even have one where Spider-Man wears it, so... You know, maybe we should focus on that first. I really liked how Tom Hardy played the Eddie Brock character, though. If the MCU brought the, into their movies, I would very much enjoy seeing reprise. Yeah, but what's the point? Kerwit, I feel like you've been modded for a while now. Or, like, recently. I think maybe yesterday. <laughs> or maybe not yesterday, but, like, Saturday, last time I streamed. Just, like... So, how do you even explain Spider-Man in the movie? Right, like... Spider-Man's like, oh, that's neat. Look at that guy with his little suit. Oh, I have no experience with that whatsoever. I don't know about that. So I'll never be in a black costume unless I'm also Venom, I guess. Oh, a charnel troll, eh? Well, that's cool. And literally, wow, this is the only two cards that are not soul tie in this pack. That's pretty amazing. Does Spider-Man e exist in the Venom universe? What is the Venom universe? The Venomverse? Which was an actual little storyline. Things don't need to match decades of story. I'm not asking to match decades of storyline. I'm literally just asking to match, like, the basic reason this character exists. You know what I mean? Like, it's like saying, hey, we have Spider-Man. But really... Uh, he's the creation of a human being and a spider having intercourse, and this is the baby that was produced. Well, yeah, you can do that, but what's the point? Just make a different character. You don't have to have that character be called Spider-Man or represent the Spider-Man in the comic books. You're literally just making a new character, so why not just call him a new character? None of these cards are any good. I'm just going to take the patrol, I guess. Oh, a, a guild mage. You know, like the only card in this pack for us. Like everyone says, anyone who says like, you don't have to have it match the storyline. I'm just like, well, you don't. You're right. I agree with you. But like, you could just not make it that character either. You could just have a different character. There's tons of characters you can use. For your, for your alien symbiote movie. 
That's like telling someone to throw money away because they wouldn't make any. Right, of course. So, you, so like that's the point, though. You're just basically saying we're going to use this character for the name, and then we're going to do whatever we want with it. None of these cards are are for us, unfortunately. This pack has been pretty bad. They should make that movie where Spider Man joins the Justice League, and then when when people are like Spider Man's not in the DC universe, then people can be like, it doesn't have to be exactly like the comics, you know? Oh, well, all right. I guess you got me there. I guess it doesn't. Yikes. I have not watched Life with Jake Gyllenhaal. Wow, we could have had the double Charnel Troll draft. Instead, we're taking like packs with nothing in them. This is bad. We need four playables from this pack. Ugh, this is not going to go well. I'm not... I'm not feeling this draft here, guys. They should make a Spider-Man movie where he eats a lot of donuts. Well, he doesn't really do that in the comic. He's not really known for eating donuts. It doesn't have to be exactly like the comic book, you know? Okay, well, you're right. I get it. This card's not even great in our deck. We don't have a single creature with power more than two. Oh, four mana shock you at sorcery speed? Oh, you killed my guy in response? Okay, I guess not. This pack is terrible. I'm just going to take the troll. You know what? I don't even care. These packs are so bad. What is that? Really? What is the deal, man? Oh, God. This is rough. I'm just gonna take all the rares now. Look at this. How is this real life? How is this real life? There's not even white. Like, if there was white here, I'd be like, okay, well, at least we get one of the colors. But, like, dude, our Golgari deck would be nuts. Oh my god. Guys, I'm crying. Sure, strike. Ugh. Fudge. We already have a demotion in the sideboard. I'm not even playing this one. Or I might play this one, actually. Whatever. Oh my god, dude. This is bad. Oh, I'm vomiting. I think we just play 16 mana. Making a Venom movie where Spider-Man doesn't exist is like making a Superman movie where he's a murderer. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, God, that's so good. Making a Venom movie where Spider-Man doesn't exist is like making a Batman movie, but instead of bats, it's frogs, and his real name is Frogman. And then you're like, well, there's no, he's not Frogman in the comics. Why would you make him like that? And they're like, it doesn't have to be exactly like the comics. Oh, okay. Well, you just took a very key part of his, for the, you took the basic thing that that actually uh, defines his existence away. But I, all right, I guess, I guess you're right. It doesn't have to be like the comics. Yeah, our sideboard, our sideboard Golgari deck looks better than our main deck, Boros deck. It's not, it's not good, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're just playing it like this with. Uh, We have three of these shitty one drops because we want to uh, mentor onto them. We have one mentor creature, so oh, I guess we have two. Good times, good times. The difference is, I'm fine with things changing for the for the sake of for like because because of movies, right? Like the the entire Avengers. The, the entire MCU movies have been changed for, for storyline reasons, right? Like, there's tons of things. Age of Ultron, like, you know, Civil War. None of these things were exactly like the comic. The problem is they went by the spirit of the comic, right? They didn't follow exactly. Like, 100%, you're not going to read Civil War and be like, oh, I remember this exactly happening, this exactly happened, this exactly... No, they made changes, and that's fine. It's fine to make make changes, my problem is when your changes violate, A, the entire existence of this character. It's predicated on Spider-Man, so and you took that away. And B, the spirit of the of the 
the story. The spirit of the character is is basically gone. So it, it just just doesn't make sense. Like I'm not unfamiliar with with Hollywood making changes to to storylines, and that's totally fine. I don't actually have a criticism about that. My criticism is the fact that our deck is actually terrible. I actually like the locket. We have 16 creatures. I don't think we need the white 2 drop. I would rather have this, Joe, just in case to... It's kind of like kind of a 17th land. Just 8-8's eight, eight, fine. I'm not going to be... This deck looks terrible. It's not good. We have nothing good in this deck. Which means we'll probably go 3-0. game. Keep it forever. What if they wanted to include but did not have the rights to Spider-Man and could not get them? Then A, you A you, you do have the rights, which is why you made Homecoming, and you made um, the next movie, whatever the, the next one's called that's coming out next year. They do have the rights. And B, then you don't make the movie. Like, it doesn't even make any sense. That's like trying to make a Justice League movie when you don't have the rights to Batman and Superman. You just don't make it. <laughs> like, because you can't make it good. I want to make a Lex Luthor movie, but I don't have the rights to Superman. Well, why the fuck would you make that movie then? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Not not saying what you're saying is dumb. I'm just saying that decision is dumb. Like, you don't, just don't make the movie. Make a different movie. But you do have the rights... Wow, dead weight on the healer hawk. Brutal. Look at this aggression we got here. I watched the Sick Boros draft you uploaded yesterday and it was freaking cool and made me excited. Yeah, and then we ended up losing one of the one of the rounds, which was unfortunate. How about the Joker and Holly Quinn without Batman? Yeah, not not a not a fan of that. Oh, the Agent Venom storyline would have been sick. However, the problem with that is that Flash Thompson is literally like 14 years old in the Homecoming universe. So it's like, well, you know, it doesn't really work. Flash also hasn't gone to the military yet. He has not lost his legs yet. So what are your thoughts on the Dark Phoenix trailer? I couldn't even get through the trailer. I did begrudgingly, but I was just like, well, done here. See you later. Thanks. Thankfully, this will be the last X-Men movie under the Fox banner, I'm, I hope. Those are my... Guys, I have very strong feelings on comic book movies. And I think they're reasonable opinions. Like, I don't mind if you change things for the sake of being Hollywood or whatever, but... Um, you know, if you just do it in a way that's really not respectful of the storyline, then we're going we're gonna to have bad bad times. They at least had two great X-Men movies. Well, you mean in total? Yeah, Dark Phoenix trailer looks absolutely terrible. Dr. Manhattan versus Thanos, who wins? Ooh, that's actually a good question. I do li I like Fastbender. Fastbender can do pretty much anything, I think. And uh, I would be okay with it. Ooh, I don't like the way this... Oh, dang, I gotta fix this Meandy slide. It's not... It's not popping, if you know what I'm saying. Were you 
were you told that the movie credits at the end is set up for the next no no I have not been told anything like that Matthew Ward, man, stop spoiling stuff dude I was now <laughs> oh Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. Well, that guy's never dying. It's only a 9-9, nine -nine, guys. It's okay. All I'm saying is, well, I mean... Cool. Yep. And this is how we died. Are we talking about a Doctor Athanos with the with the Infinity Gauntlet or without the Infinity Gauntlet? Because if we're just talking the Mad Titan by himself, then I would yeah I'd probably give it to Doctor Manhattan. So the problem, I, the reason I didn't answer it immediately, is because I don't know if Doctor Manhattan's abilities. Like, Doctor Manhattan was created on Earth through a failed experiment within an earth like a, a human device right so i don't actually know if he's at like peak universal abilities or if he's peak human device will grant you these these powers abilities Does that makes sense i don't know if his powers are still restricted within the confines of our technology like if the same accident happened to someone on a, in, a, in an alien civilization that had more advanced technology would the amplification of, of abilities be stronger you know what i'm saying Well, we obviously can't attack here. So yeah, that was my... We could Lava Coil this guy, attack with both, they block here, we pump this guy, and then they go to six, and then we never actually get to deal any more damage. Meanwhile, it's a two-turn clock, so that's good. This is where we bring in, like, the... Uh the gateway plaza and the Celestia guild gate so we can bring in the crushing canopy which is actually not terrible fake spoilers aren't funny because you kind of like give away like this thing doesn't happen it's just kind of obnoxious I think that Dr. Manhattan would just unmake Thanos yeah sure but like we don't know if Doc Dr. Manhattan's abilities work on Titan physiology right so I mean like I don't know the extent of Dr. Manhattan's abilities. And also, you guys didn't clarify whether Thanos has the Infinity Gauntlet, in which case... What is going on? Are you just playing a second one? Is this happening? What are you doing right now? I want you to stop. Oh, boy. Seems good. And scene. This is 12 damage. Even if we did this, we'd only be at 11. So. Okay. Actually, we don't have the, the other gate, so. Crushing Canopy still seems like it's worth it. Unless we have something that deals with the artifacts in our color. We do not. Taking both of these. Bring in a Guild Gate and a Basic Forest. And we can play this and Crushing Canopy. Take out the Locket. Righteous Blows both seem bad. Maybe we just bring in the other canopy as well. They did have a bunch of green bros.
Yeah, Lava Coil Intervention in a 3-3. I guess we could have 3 for one ourselves and had a 1-1 one -one on board. Not ideal. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Any white source is good. Yeah, like I said, this deck does not uh, look like it's going to withstand the rigors of this draft. Well, that is not a white mana. Any mana, and we get a, a war boss. Any white mana, and we get a Sky Knight Legionnaire, I guess. Actually, we're probably going to run war boss out there first. Are you going to sub to DC Universe? No. <laughs> no. I forgot I couldn't play anything. I got excited and I tapped my mana and then I realized. And don't get me wrong, I don't I don't like I don't dislike DC. I actually think DC is great. Uh DC content, DC uh movies and TV shows kind of subpar for me. I like the Flash and I like Arrow for a while. I think they kind of went downhill. Um also, like, 23 episodes per season and, like, indefinite seasons, like, in 8, 9, 10 seasons. At a certain point, you're just like, okay, well, you know, this is, um, you're just making the show for the sake of making the show now. You're not actually telling stories. But yeah, I don't really... I, there's nothing on the DC Universe stream that I would enjoy. Um, unfortunately. Who's your favorite DC hero? It actually might be Martian Manhunter, as far as heroes go. I'm also a fan of, fan of Boston Brand, otherwise known as Dead Man. Those are two of my... Uh, if you want a more traditional hero, uh, Hal Jordan is probably my favorite. Green Lantern. Okay, well, this guy is problematic. Oh, next turn, Legion Warboss with this means we can actually mentor onto the token, which is great. There's a DS9 podcast that talks about how much better most TV series are when they're around 9. Yes, because you don't have to, like, force storylines in, right? Like, I, I kept trying to keep up with Flash and Arrow, and I'm just like, you're on season 4, and there's 23 episodes in the season. I'm like, Why? Like, this is so much. Like, there's no way that you have this much of a story. You're not telling a story to tell the story. You're telling a story because, like, you're getting paid to make more movies. You know what I mean? Uh, what do I think of the new Titan show based on? I mean, I haven't seen it, but it doesn't look great. It looks pretty rough. This dude has to attack. That's really sad. The Goblin, anyway. Gunners, I haven't actually watched Cloak and Dagger. The old 6-3 floaty boy. Seems good. That's not impossible to deal with. Yeah, 
maybe we'll have a better luck in the in the losers bracket. <laughs> They're at twelve. Can we like this costs six damage to deal six mana to deal them three damage? That's pretty sad. And we can't destroy this because it's an artifact. We can't kill you. I wonder if it's worth canopying this thing, playing War Boss, and just attacking with everything. They block here. Like, it's literally the least we can do here. Ugh. Menace Vigilance Flying Death Proof Hex, hex Death Touch Hex Proof. Yeah, it's a, it's a good creature. I mean, they block here 100%, but then they take 6 and go to 6. And then we have the same... Thing next turn plus this guy yep that's obviously the pick because this guy kills you in two turns it's like wizards wants to prove that words are powerful that's a that is definitely what they're doing words have meaning guys these words mean you probably lose the game because it's not really a reasonable card are there any cards you were high on and didn't meet your expectations not really that I, none that I can think of anyway. Are you talking about limited or just in like in general, like constructed or ding, 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 ding. Wow, I just keep getting best offers for 120 on this book that I'm selling for 140. And I'm just like, no no. This is not this is worth more than that. Here comes Gateway Guard. Oh, the old preemptive good game. Good game. Yeah, that's that's great. Had a good time. <laughs> oh man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it though. Appreciate it. Unbelievable. Well, boarding into the green sideboard helped. Uh, just didn't help enough because hexproof is a unfun mechanic. What's my favorite card from guilds? Um, that is a good question. I have no idea, actually. What if it's Thief of Sanity? I wonder. Thief of Sanity was very cool in our Sultai deck that we played. I mean, Thief of Sanity is a 2-2 is pretty sensitive. Like, he's not very resilient, but uh, what book is it that you're selling? Oh, it's I have, a, I have a bunch of books listed on my eBay page. I have tons of graded books. Uh, the book in question is Batman 608. It's a graded 9 point... F yeah, we're just, uh, no, actually, that doesn't work. It's 9.4, 9 I believe. And it's a second printing, which is actually more rare than the regular because it's a variant Jim Lee cover.
You gonna keep the sky alive with your with your take heart? No. Really? You know what? Sure. I don't want to race intervention on that. Get him. Guess you didn't. I guess you, you got him. You got him as well. Sure, we can sure strike here. I don't love it, but... I wish this guy had trample. But alas. No. Oh, good. The 4-4. Four, four. That's... That's easy to deal with. Mm. I don't see why Esper Control would be the, the go-to standard deck. Because you're only getting... Uh, you only have access to Is it? There's no Azorius cards, and there's no... Actually, no, there's Demir. Not, not Is it. You only have access to Demir. There's no Azorius or Orzhov cards. So, like, you're just... You're not getting... You're not getting enough. You get nothing. I actually tried to look at an, an Esper deck, and you get basically nothing from black if you want to add, if you want to build it that way. Or you get nothing from white, whichever way you want to look. I think the white blue is stronger than um, than any other option. And also, like, you just play Grixis, because like, then you get Is it and you get uh, Demir, which is super strong. So you're getting both guild. It's also the, the mana base is going to be much more consistent than, than Esper. I really like I can't I, I can't attack into this and I can't this deck is terrible that's unfortunate but what can you do they're at 17 too so it's not like we're like pressuring them in any sort of meaningful way we can't even double block with anything in order to get the value I guess we can actually block and we can block with the 1-1 one, one. I don't like that. We'll just block here, and then we'll just pump it with integrity, I guess. Which is so bad. No, oh, actually, that was reasonable. Oh, yep. Like you do. Seven out of sixteen lands. We've drawn almost fifteen fifty percent of our lands, so that's good. Wow, two Wario Cappies in the deck. That's something. I wish I had a way to deal with this guy. That didn't involve trading my entire team. Uh, yeah, this is going to end well, I'm sure. Might have masses. Which would make sense why you didn't play it last turn. Take heart, sure. Seems like a good draw. 5, 6, and 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We block here, we take 10, we go to 1. Yeah, there's nothing in our deck that's going to be able to get us back from here.
This card would be actually very good in our deck if we actually had creatures like the 5-2 or the 4-4 or the 4-3. We just don't have any of the good creatures to go with that. Which is unfortunate. Fly casual. Have a good night, buddy. Really appreciate you hanging out. <sighs> am I excited for Captain Marvel in March? Yes, I am. Very much so. I'm also excited for seeing Skrulls in the Marvel Universe finally because they look very, very good. I will play first. This hand's f fine if we can get a red or a white mana rather. Three into four into this guy. I guess that's good. What do you think of the best color combination? It doesn't matter. I've answered this a bunch of times. It just depends on what you open, right? Like if you open the 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 great Boros cards, take the good Boros cards, and you'll be fine. I don't think there's any best color combination really. Blue the noob, thank you so much for the resub. TPO, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, and welcome back. Yeah, like I think, like, because we actually opened, uh, in the last draft we did, we actually opened something, god, I forgot we even opened. Yep, here we go. All right, this is gonna, this is gonna be a quick one. This is gonna be a nice double O, double O three draft today. Did we O three the last one? We won two, right? Yeah, we won the first one and then we lost the next two. Which is worse because you still have the hope that you can, that you can get something out of it. One time, one time. What's up, Villy Man? Villy, I want to say Villy Man. That was a combination of both things. We're just going to play this Rock Charger. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Are you reading any current comics? Yes, I'm reading a ton of current comics. I feel like I've gone over this before, actually. Um, this is my current iPad reading order. I'll, I'll put this over here for you guys. Uh, I've, I st I've stopped reading for about two or three years. Three, probably more closer to three. Maybe four. <laughs> um, and so I'm just catching up now. So these are all the issues that I'm going to be reading to catch up. Uh, I'm currently about... I'm around right around here. I have all of these going at once right now. And then we're going to get through everything else. So it's probably going to take me about a year to do it. Not including everything else that comes out in the meantime. But it just gives me things to read. Like I have, I'll never have, I'll never be out of things to read, essentially. Which is nice. So. Uh, where do you buy them all from? Usually I either read them online. I, I, I just read them on my iPad, actually, so. I would never imagine. Like, I've had... I actually... I moved to Seattle, and then I moved back to Florida with, like, 11... Um, 11 long boxes of comics. And... Billy Man, that's new. By the way, this new chat seems great. Is there new chat? There's new chat? What's going on? Wait, what's new chat? What does that mean? What's happening right now? Where am I? Sorry, I moved for I moved like eleven long boxes of comics, and once I moved to Florida again, I was just like, no way, I'm never moving with these again. Like, so I actually sold all of my all of my long boxes with stuff in them, and uh, I just I only buy stuff that I really really like. 
in paper anyway because I just don't want to have a million books uh, mentor onto this guy for obvious this guy okay we figured it out cha 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 I gotta live the dream after I play Apex of Power while having two erratic cyclops on board. I may have to retire from empty. What's an erratic cyclops? Oh, the the, oh the oh wow. I'm new chat, new chat. Who this? <laughs> we have a good time. This card is so weird. Like, if this was a puff, a tough, a power boost instead, plus one, plus zero, oh, it would make sense. Did you own any expensive comics? When you, uh, yes. I, I mean, I still do. I just they, they weren't in the long boxes though. The long boxes, the ones I sold were just literally uh, back issues and stuff. Uh, East of West is also in my in my list. Saga is also in my list. Uh, Gideon Falls is also in my list, and Oblivion is also in my list. Those are my my image titles that I am looking at, into reading. Wait, you mean this isn't chat? Seems weird. It also keeps giving me PayPal notifications. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I like the donation uh, the donation prompt being used for memes. That's one of the best parts of streaming, I think. I'm gonna use this forum to make jokes while I while I support your stream. I'm like, okay, I guess I guess it's your it's your world. I'm just living in it. What if we go sure strike? Oh, that's that's actually better. That's nice. We can sure strike on this. Oh yeah, this is this is everything we've ever wanted. Put you on the mentor, boy. Attack with everything. Mentor onto the rock. Uh, give flying to the to this guy. Right? Is this right? Oh, creature without flying. That's great. So okay, I was like, oh no. Ah, we're back. Chat bugged out for me. Oh, so did you actually... So you were actually having a, a different chat experience then. That's actually pretty funny. So four, five, six, seven... This is nine damage. This is the best our deck can possibly do. I'm done memeing for now. I don't I don't believe that for a second. I just want to donate it and figure out how to get some memes out of it. <laughs> hey, I am Valley Man. I think I've experienced the same Are you guys really experiencing chat bug? I can't tell if you're literally just just messing around now. I'm I'm so uncomfortable right now because you guys are clearly doing things. Good times. <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Oh my god. Hmm, boy. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Josh, thank you so much, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. And back up to 452 we go. I mean, we only have to keep it rolling for like two months. And then uh And then I'll get the I'll get that sweet, sweet that sweet, sweet twitch bump, so. Josh, you are awesome, dude. Don't let anybody tell you different. I know how they talk about you at work. I didn't I didn't I don't believe a word they say. This is gonna be this is a good time. My favorite part is after the uh after the huge influx of uh subscriber donated donated sub 
dumps. You get uh, the 15,000 notifications. Why are all the emotes FTL? Because my middle name uh, is Thomas. So. Plus, I feel like FTL is more on brand than FL for me, personally. I don't really want to play this guy. I think I'd rather just play this guy and block. Ugh. But then if they just attack with this guy, we're in... Whatever. Whatever. Hey, big fan. <laughs> B-Doe's back. What's going on? Always a pleasure. I guess this combos with Collar. Like, I can make one of these guys a three... An X4, one of their creatures an X4, and then just, like, kill it. Whoa, with all the personal info you sure you want. Yeah, that's fine. I'll I'll manage. I think I'll be okay. Josh, dude, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Man. Josh is the hero we 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 need, but not the one we deserve. <laughs> After September we have Scrobarock <laughs> Topper. Oh my god. Unfortunately, the perks of Scrober October are nowhere near as good as the perks of September. Um, you know. I'm gonna just keep back here, I think. I don't even want to attack with my... We're at 13. Next turn we can play this guy. Yeah, we'll get in there. I don't want to block with this guy, so... Man, if only if only Scrubber October was an officially Twitch sponsored uh, promotion. Unfortunately, Twitch doesn't appreciate the Scrobers or the Bober Dads as uh, nearly as much as our Twitch chat does. <laughs> All right. Well, we're they didn't want to attack with anybody. Billy, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. After after like fifteen in donations too. This has been a this is a positive experience we're having today, guys. Man, what a time to be alive. Oh, now we get to collar this guy and keep the other thing up. Oh, this is nice. Billy, thank you so much, dude. Wow, Billy and uh and Josh are MVPs today. As usual. Uh, YouTube viewers, I hope that the uh, all the thank yous are not problematic for you, because there's going to be about 30 of them. Did I mention that chat bugged out again? What does that mean? What are you? What's happening there? What is this? Is it, are they targeting themselves? Well, I guess we're taking two from that guy. Oh wow, everybody. Okay. I don't love this. I will block you, though. Really. Don't have the pump, I guess? I always have it. Just don't... Oh, yes, we didn't, they didn't have it. This is great news. So we go to 8, but we get to play a 3-4. I don't think they're going to play anything else. Yeah, that seems good. Three four that gains us th gains us four. I'm in. I usually find all the thank yous comical when I'm watching. That's good. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Oh, is today the day that all the subs? Yes, all the subs died today. Today was the uh, the first day of the subpocalypse. Hopefully, the last day as well. Oh, that's sad because now you get to just trade here. Although I don't know if it updated yet because. I don't think it's updated from the from the 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 452 that Josh helped with. Have you tried drafting on Arena yet? Not yet. I'm tempted to though. I am tempted to do so. Oh, they didn't attack. Interesting. 
Oh, I think we can win this game. Our deck is terrible, but we're doing okay. They're at 14, and they took... Oh, that's real sad. Oh, boy. Yeah, at 12, we're definitely not going to 6 here when I can just make a dude. Oh, good, another land. Half of the lands. We've drawn 50% of the lands in most of these games. So that's cool. That's a thing. Well, I think this guy was really key to us uh, holding down the fort here. However, we do have a, a lot of ways to deal an extra 2 damage next turn. We have Sure Strike, we have the 3 damage spell. We're going to block here. Why aren't you tanking with this beetle? Just... It's hold the fort, not hold down the fort. Is it really? I don't think that's very good. It has to attack, so... Four, five, six, seven. Eh. Might as well force the block. Maybe they block with Iron Shell Beetle instead. I can't. I, I seriously, actually, don't know if you guys were joking about the chat not working, or if you're just like, I'm going to use this the donation, uh, to to actually chat. I actually, I think you guys are monsters. <laughs> it was a okay. Take it easy. You don't have to yell. We're all friends here. All right. So as long as I don't die, we had they have to deal with both of these guys. I think that's good. Four, five, six, seven. They go kill this guy. Take heart. That's my that's my theory. Oh, we just win the game. Well, I'll be a biscuit. Well, I'll well butter my biscuits. I make mm, funny. I actually took that one off. That one's off now. Mm, funny joke. Show me that smile again. Don't make another. Also, after this, I'm gonna eat some dinner. I have some tikka masala in the crock pot currently that I will be chowing down on after this. I will play first. Is this any good? Yeah, this hand's actually great. We can get rid of two blockers, and we got a Legion War Boss and a Parhelion Patrol. I'm game. You ruined the prediction. Congrats. What was the prediction? That we'd 3 Yes. That's the only prediction I want to ruin. These pretzels are making me hungry. Thirsty. Thirsty. That's a Seinfeld meme. Welcome to the food of my peoples. I always worry that it's like the white dude's Indian food. You know what I mean? But I really like it, so what can you do? I also had to go to the local Indian store to get uh, some paneer. Like you do. And I got some naan there because I don't like the... There's actually... They had naan at like grocery stores, but it's never good. So I got some frozen naan and I'm hopefully... Hopefully that'll be good. It looks like... A, it looks better. Because the naan you get at Indian restaurants is, like, super thin and crispy. And, like... But the naan you get at supermarkets is always, like, thick and fluffy. It's, like, a totally different taste. It's just not the same. So I'm hoping... Don't kill this guy. Just don't. Don't do it. We're having a good time. We're all... We're having fun. Don't do it. Okay. You did good. Appreciate it. Preach. I had to step away before I could ask this, but what exactly do they say about me? <laughs> I'll never tell. 
I don't know how they make it in Afghanistan. That sounds interesting, though. Oh, a land? So we can put Demotion on this guy and play Sky Knight Legionnaire? Oh, this is interesting. Do, 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 do. Oh, you know what? Either one. Either one's fine. With these, with their feet. Wow. <laughs> is that true? I can't tell if you're being, I can't tell if this is like a joke or not. I think I have a, an Amazon package being delivered right now. So you got a 1-1, one, one, and you got a 2-1, and you have two cards. So we're going to just do a thing here. We're going to coil this boy. Get coiled on, brah. Man, Legion Warboss doing some... Doing some heavy lifting here. Would you ever post comic reviews on Patreon? I actually would definitely do that. Um, that actually seems like a sweet idea. It's just, the problem is it's not my, like, brand. You know what I mean? So, I don't know how many people would like that, but I'd still be definitely down to do it. Yeah, that's pretty bad for us. All right, all this is fine. This guy can't attack. Do they know he can't? Huh. This guy can't block alone. I block alone. I guess we're just getting in there with Sky Knight here. And then we'll play Parhelion Patrol. Would you review the magic story for each week? I, I would actually not mind doing that either. It would take me some catching up though, because I haven't actually caught up enough. What if I what if I read the magic story and I could I could do like an audio reading of the magic of the magic lore that week? No, Jace said. Let me see. Hold on. Let me let me find some some magic story. And we just won this game. I don't even know what's going on right now. Magic story archive. Ooh. You speak with a fish as well, Mademoiselle. Your skills are without number. The eels receded into the water at the sound of the man's voice, a lean baritone, yet unused to, man un unused to manhood. Not that I'd ever have occasion to mature, Vivian ranked, raked a considered look across the new arrival's countenance, taking in the saturnine features, the boyish softness of his mouth, his bloodless complexion. Vampires were eternal, both in habit and biology. I could just, I could just do some, uh, I get to do some audiobook reading. You should do a flavor review on Patreon in which you talk about the best flavor on MTG cards and Mike talks about jalapeno kettle corn chips. We were going to do like a sub thing where Mike like reviews a bunch. Of, I was going to buy a bunch of kettle corn chips off Amazon or whatever and uh, just the different varieties and we just do a review and be like, hmm, okay, this one's good. Also for tips on drafting and deck building. I, why is Frank, it's not fan fiction. It's actually, it's actual magic story. You guys are ridiculous. I don't think we're boarding anything in here. I don't think we want crushing canopies. Josh, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Is there any way to donate to the people who are in the chat right now? I don't know if that's if that's what it does. Oh, this hand is bad. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. All right, we're going to keep this hand. Any one white, and we're, we're pretty good. Planes on top? <clears throat> they also went to six, so I guess that's good. Uh, bottom. Is this how we summon Don? <laughs> it's very possible, yes. 
Oh, that's actually hilarious. Oh, that was a great draw. Did you see that great draw we had off the top? Beautiful. I thought the random gift thing gives it to people in, like, my community. I don't know what that means. Get a load of this guy. I probably just want to kill this guy immediately. This guy's problematic. Oh my god. Josh, dude, thank you so much. You got your... Oh, and Val... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. <sighs> yep. I don't know how to, like... I never know how to respond to this because it's super generous. It's like one of the most generous things you guys can actually do in the channel. And I'm like, I don't know how to respond to this, this awkward generosity that I'm feeling right now. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, Taunus is just switch Beetlejuice. Are they going to deal three to this guy? Oh, to the... Oh, wow. I think that's actually... I think this guy's worse than this guy. That's good for us. Different water brands ice cubes. I'm going to be like, all right, what are you drinking today? Well, today we have a little... Uh, today we have some smart water ice cubes. Oh, what's today? Oh, today is... Oh god, what is this? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. That's actually very good for us. Oh, I'm thrilled about the way that worked out. Wow, that was a great demotion there. You've been demoted. I mean, we take a lot every turn, but like, this is a lot of pressure. Go to different fast food places and get cups of ice and see which one has the best ice. I think, like, Sonic would win, right? They have two cards in hand. Don't kill my Legion War boss. Okay, don't care about that. We have Righteous Blow and Sure Strike. We're going to take five. Oh, God, you're going to do more things. Oh, that's big. Okay. So it's still a, a three-turn clock now. We just have to win in three turns. Oh, wait, can we just tap it forever? Oh, that's great. Oh, and we get to hit a land here. Oh yeah, that's nice. Well, they just block the one that doesn't have a counter on it, right? So Legion War Boss puts a counter on you. Rock Charger gives you float. That's pretty good. Did the sub count update already? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't even know. I can't keep up with you guys. Thank you guys so much. Vili, Vili and, and, and Josh, you guys have been amazing. That is actually unbelievable. So we just deal five here. We can keep this. If this taps, right? Tap another creature? Yeah, that's great. Do you happen to have your cube list online? I do. You can actually do one of these jobbies. I'm missing three cards. So I need to put three cards in. I think one is going to be Falconrath Gorger. They didn't play anything. Oh, well, that's that's good, too. But I think we're fine. As is. You, you, you. And you have to attack. And if this is your first night at Goblin Club, you have to attack. And if they kill this, we can still play Restorer, which is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is fine. This is a good trade as far as I'm concerned. 
Oh, I'm just gonna pass here. I don't think taking seven is worth uh, playing restorer. Wow, I can't believe we went two one in this draft. That was not expected at all. This deck seemed terrible, but uh, as you know, if the deck seems bad, you'll probably be fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do I have real power in my cube? Uh, the power I have in the cube is proxied. I, I even if I had real power, I don't actually own it real power. If I did own real power, I still wouldn't put it in my cube. Uh, I, you know, six thousand dollar Lotus, three thousand, two thousand dollar other you know moxes and, and ancestral is just not worth putting in the cube and having like seven other random strangers shuffling it and putting it in their deck and maybe bending it. That's just not not a risk I would take. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check out me undies. You get a 15% off your first order in the link in the description below. Uh, there's also free shipping and free returns in case you guys don't like them, which you will. Um, you can also check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are in the description below as well. Really appreciate the support. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.